Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about attached decoding in AHP, attached decoding in AHP protocol. So, say here we have a master and a master is communicating with a slave here and this is a single master and here we have slave 1 suppose say here we have slave 2 and followed by slave 3 so this is a single master and multiple multiple slave system so considering a single master with multiple slave system slow so let's see how a master is communicating with this a single master is communicating with this three slaves so in a single master and multiple slave system how a master communicates with multiple slaves so here we can see for a single master and multiple slave system we have a decoder which is used for deco which is used to select multiple slaves when a, when a single master is communicating with multiple slaves so here we can see the address information is given as an input to the decoder and according to the address information the slave is being selected by the h select signal using this h select the slave signal is being selected by the master and the communication is getting established between the master and the selected slave so when a single master and a multiple slave are being used then a decoder is used for decoding the address and according to the decoded address we have we will be <coughs> we will be select a master can select a particular slave and can establish a communication and can establish a communication between the master and particularly selected slave using the h select signal so what happens if we have multiple masters and multiple slaves connected then here it here and there and there comes the concept of interconnect so and the basic purpose of interconnect is so an interconnect is used to establish communication between multiple masters and multiple slaves so an interconnect is used where we have multiple masters where we have multiple masters wanted to communicate with multiple slaves then an interconnect is used so here an interconnect is used when we want to communicate multiple masters with multiple slaves here we are using an interconnect for this communication so with the help of interconnect we are establishing connection between multiple masters and multiple slaves next let's say about read data and response multiplex multiplexer so here we have a master which wants to communicate with uh, multiple slaves it is a single master with which wants to communicate with uh, multiple slaves then the address information is given to the decoder so according to this address information h select signal is being used and according to that address information h select is selected and and the particular slave will be selected and after selecting a particular slave for example slave 1 is selected then slave 1 responds then slave 1 responds with the signals h ready out h response and hr data so here when a particular slave 
has been selected then the slave response with the following signals call h response h ready and hr data so this h response we will see about this h response in next slides whereas this h ready signal we already know that h ready is used to indicate the current status of slave indicate the status of indicate the status of the slave so when h ready is we already know that h ready is equal to 0 then the slave is busy and if h ready is equal to 1 then the slave is ready to accept the ready to accept the data or the slave is ready to or the slave is ready for the communication and with the help of hr data the slave sends the data or the slave reads the data with the help of hr data and with the help of hr data signal the slave sends the data to the master the signal the slave sends the data to the master using the hr data bus so with the help of hr data bus the slave sends the data on this hr data bus so these are the three signals using which slave communicates with the master so these are the three signals through which the slave communicates with the master hr data is used for transferring the data to the master h response is giving the response to the master we'll see about this response signal in the upcoming slides and this h ready signal is used to give the status of the slave to the master so so here we have a multiplexer connected with the master and the slave so according to the inputs given for example here hr data 1 is connected to x1 hr data 2 is connected to x2 and hr data 3 is connected to x3 so according to the address which address which is given as input to the decoder and the decoder decodes the decodes the address and gives a particular address to the multiplexer as a select line so address is given as a select line input to the multiplexer address is given as a select line input to the multiplexer so according to the select line input which selects the particular slave so that the particular hr data will be selected from the slave for example if the address which which has been decoded by the decoder is is of slave 1 then the hr data 1 of the slave 1 is being will be selected and will be sent over hr data bus to the master and the y1 which is h response 1 of slave 1 will be sent by the multiplexer to the master in the form of h response signal to the master and the h ready out 1 will be sent by the multiplexer to the master if the address is of slave 3 and if the selected address is of slave 3 then the hr data 3 will be selected by the multiplexer and it will be sent by the sent by the bus hr data and h response 3 will be selected and it will be sent by the bus h response and h ready out 3 will be selected and it will be sent by h ready so according to the address which according to the address the address information will be given by the master here we can see the address information the the address information of the slave the master decides which slave it want to communicate with it want to communicate either with slave 1 or it want to communicate with slave 2 it will give to the decoder and decoder will and decoder output is given as the select line input of the multiplexer so according to the select line input of the multiplexer the input will be selected here we can see the input will be sele selected and uh, the slave will be selected and the particular slaves out the particular slaves output will be given to the input as multiple input of the multiplexer and accordingly the output of the multiplexer is given to the master 
so like this a slave when multiple slaves are connected to a master like this the communication will happen between a master and the slaves now 